Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. This week on the guide, we're continuing our series about how to effectively and easily make daily West Coast Swing practice a part of your routine. So we wanted to talk about a couple of quick drills that are really helpful for getting our anchors on point. So I'll start with the first drill. We can just put our hands to the back of any wall or stable surface, like a wall or a pillar, and then begin to do triple steps, triple steps against that wall, applying minimal pressure to the wall so your fingertips will stay on the wall, they won't float back, and we won't be really pushing, driving into the wall, we're just maintaining that pressure. This exercise helps us to maintain a consistent pitch with our bodies. Uh, sometimes when we're new to anchoring, or even when we try the styling of anchoring, we can catch ourselves really taking a certain part of our body back or forth, um, and that disrupts, of course, the connection and the partnering. So as we take our triple step, triple step, we find that this connection low to our centers on the wall allows us to maintain uh, a stable pitch throughout our anchor. So that's drill number one. Next drill, also using the wall, we're going to put one side of body, depending if I'm a leader, it's going to be my right side, if I'm a follower, it's going to be my left side. Whichever side would be back in an anchor, that's going to be on the wall. And I want to think about maintaining contact with my shoulder blade and my hip throughout doing my anchor step. What this helps us to practice is making sure that we're staying back in our anchor. So what tends to happen is that when we take these three steps, we go back, forward, back which feels really, really disruptive in the connection to our partner. By thinking about keeping one side of body on the wall, we think about maintaining that connection with our partner and so that we can stay more consistent. And the final drill, all of these are very easy. You can obviously see how we can set them up in 20, 30 seconds or less, and then maintain them through a five minute exercise, is to be on a door frame or a door knob and to connect with that stable source and anchor back away. This drill is to make sure that our distancing is appropriate with inside of our own frame on the anchor. So let me show you what I mean. If I take a step back as a follower uh, on my right side, on my right foot on the floor, I can then start to feel that a connection to be my, between myself and the doorknob for five and six. As I continue to extend, if my distancing is off in any way, I'm going to feel perhaps nothing in the connection, absolutely no stretch in the arm, it's really slack. I haven't really extended or elasticized the connection enough, or I'll begin to feel, oh, that I'm overextending myself. So th same thing as a leader, we can take that step on four, and then five and six, make sure we're maintaining a back step where we're not too close to the door, and we're not getting out here. So that's the third and final anchor drill variation that we have for you to practice in your daily routine. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. You can check us out online at mattdavisswing.com. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter as Rising Guide Swing Institute. Bye!